Hi everyone, well today I have a haul. It's going to be a little bit of everything. So I'm going to start with the accessories because I have the most of, I think. And from Torrid, I bought this ring. It's um very simple and very, like, I don't know, I feel like it was very appropriate for the office. It's not too chunky like this one. From Torrid as well, I bought this ring. That reminds me a lot of the Kate Middleton one. Of course, it's not the same, but it's a really good dupe. And and then a couple of days ago, I went in um, and I found this one that says Love. And this is a two-finger uh, two ring. And normally, the two-finger rings don't fit me to, it, to them, so they fit me perfectly. Um, they fit me perfectly and I really, really, really like it. I enjoy it and I like that it is kind of like a dark color. And then, from here on YouTube, there's this girl whose videos I really, really like and I'm going to put her link on the down bar. And she had, I don't know if it was this, I think it was the blue necklace that is very similar to this one. And she got it off of eBay and they're really inexpensive there. They're like, I don't know, like four bucks or three bucks, something like that. And... They don't feel that bad, to be honest with you. They're really light, so they're not really heavy, and they're not, um, they don't look cheap. I mean, they don't look like three bucks, I think. So I bought the green in one. The pictures and in camera, it looks more like minty, but it is more like a green color. So. And I really like it. I want to get the blue one and the pink one and the black one. I want to get them all, too. So I highly recommend them. You can get them off of eBay. Again, people sell them from three to seven bucks so and I really appreciate when people take the time to send me something well packaged so so yeah I highly highly recommend every single one of you to go to eBay right now and get it then from Aldo I went I went in to look for a clutch and I ended up also getting this necklace and I really like it it's black but sp I don't have a lot of spiked jewelry so I think that's one of the reasons why I was attracted to it and I like that it's long. So this was 15 bucks. It was a little bit on the expensive side. But okay. again, some of the jewelry that I see that has um, spikes, it's not really like my style for some reason. I can never find the cute, the cute spike accessories for some reason. Every time I do, they're always sold out. So, so anyways, so I got this one. And what I liked is that it kind of has a tribal sense, but... Then it also has that edginess with the spikes. And then from Forever 21, I bought a couple I bought a couple of long necklaces. Ooh. I bought this one that has a heart and it, it's kind of like a double side and I really liked it. It kind of looks like a sweet accessory. I don't know if you if you get what I'm saying, but um when I wear like something that is very simple, like a shirt or a top that is very simple, I like to accessorize it with something with a long necklace. And yeah, so I thought this was really cute. Speaking of long, I also got this cross necklace. I don't have anything that has crosses in it except one bracelet. Um, and I think like I'm really, really late on this trend. So I decided to get this one. And I like the little diamonds that it has. And again, it's a long necklace for perfect for those boring out outfits. I bought this... Um, bracelet, a stretchy bracelet that has like a pyramid design as you can see. I really like the stretchy bracelets because they always, always, always fit me. Also from Forever 21 I got this necklace. It's almost like a choker necklace and I like that it has like a mint and pink um, color scheme. I don't have a lot of jewelry that has pastel colors so that's why I really like this So one. for makeup, I finally, finally bought the Naked 2. Palette. I um, have the first one, so I think for me, I don't know, like it didn't make sense to have two neutral palettes that were so expensive. Um, so I was waiting and waiting and waiting to get it. Um, I was very, very, very undecided. But Urban Decay had their 20% off sale. I decided to finally get it. So, And I also got this um, All Nighter by Urban Decay. And this is a setting spray. I have the regular All Nighter one. This is the extra large. And it was on sale for 16 bucks plus the 20% off. So 
I was like, of course I'm going to get it. I don't regret it. I also bought the this lick one, but for some reason the all nighter works better for me. And again, in case you don't know, this is a setting spray, so usually you would put it after your makeup, and it's supposed to ensure that your makeup stays in place and doesn't move or anything like that. And normally what I do is I apply the coat when I'm going out um, to a party or something. I spray um, one or two co um, coats of the all nighter. I let it kind of sit. Then I apply my makeup and then I do another another layer. So, so when I do that, honestly, my makeup does not move. It stays in place. I love, love, love this thing. And so I'm really, really glad that I got it for 16 bucks plus a 20% off. And yeah, so the Disney one, it's an okay product, but I feel like this one makes it last a little bit better. And yeah, so I highly recommend it. I think they're still on sale. And they're also on sale at Sephora, the extra large. So if they still have the extra, lar extra large versions, they should be 16 bucks. So an item that you've already seen in my last outfit of the day is this clutch that I bought at Aldo. And this, I think it retailed for 35 I believe. If not, I'll put the price somewhere in here. And I really liked it. I had precious, and you'll see them in a bit. One other um, clutch, but it didn't work with the black and metallic dress. As you know, spikes are really in right now. I love it. I really, really love it. They also have a, like a beige or nude color, and I love that one too, and I want it so bad, but... So I really liked it and I like that it has the straps that go on your that go on your shoulder. Then from Forever 21 as well, I bought this um crossbody bag and I saw this one last year around this time and I I didn't buy it um because online it looks a little bit smaller than this and yeah, so I didn't buy it at the moment and then when I wanted to buy it it was sold out. It was sold out. So again, it is a crossbody bag, so it has this long strap. And being a, a plus size woman, I feel that I thought that it wasn't going to go across, but it does. So I really like it, and I can't wait to wear it. And then the clutch that I had initially purchased to wear with that black and metallic dress was this one, which has kind of like a metallic-y feeling, and it's almost the same metallic color as the dress. I bought this one at JCPenney and this was 35 bucks. It has a short strap to wear on your shoulder and it's big, which I and while while I was also looking for a clutch, I found this one at Macy's. And this is by the brand Olivia and Joy. And it retails for $62, but I got it for I think it was around $20. It was in sale and I I knew that this wasn't going to work with the dress. This is how it looks on the inside. And this one doesn't have a strap, but I really like it. And for $20, I, I just had to get it. So From Forever 21 and following with the mint trend, I bought a pair of the, of the mint skinnies. I've been wanting a pair of mint skinnies forever. But they're always, always, always sold out. Like, I see them one minute, and when I go to actually purchase them, they're sold out. And then, moving on to Torrid. Torrid had their, um, hot cash again a couple of weeks ago. And I decided to buy two pairs of the new Source of Wisdom Virtual Stretch line or jeans. And, um, the second pair of return because it wasn't like a virtual stretch. It claimed that it was, but it wasn't. What I bought were, are the ones that have the embroidered pocket on the back. And these are really stretchy, like the ones that I... These are really stretchy, which I adore. They fit me super comfortably. They mold perfectly to my body. And I really, really enjoy and highly, highly recommend these um, jeans. The last two things that I bought are from Macy's and one, actually both, are from the brand INC International Concepts, which I adore. I really, really like their plus size line. Some of their clothing is cut more for another type of body that is not mine, um, but their tops and everything else tends to work most of the time. So I found this vest. It also has this clear, transparent 
um, side and I know you can't really appreciate it that well but I don't think you can actually really see that well but it has like a little um, hook where you can hook it in the middle instead of a button and then it has this clear side um, and this is kind of loose so it gives a different effect on the sides of your body and it doesn't make you it, it, it kind of hides those areas um, on your waist that you kind of don't want them to that you don't want to show. Another thing that I bought from INC was this top and it has a zipper it's more like a sweater um, it has a zipper all the way at the bottom and it one of the things that I liked is that the hands also have um, zippers so it looks really edgy so this is how it looks like and again the bottom is more like a peplum. The last thing that I bought also within the black family was this, um, was this sweater by Torrid and and I saw it on I forget her name oh my gosh I'm sorry um but I saw it on another girl's channel channel and I'll put her link on the down bar she does a lot of plus size hauls and outfit of the days and I love her to death um, so I'll put her link on the down bar. I think her the name of her channel is Pretty and Plus. If you're watching, you know, I just want to tell you that I love your videos. But anyhow, she hauled this sweater by Torrid. And it's a simple black sweater lace with lace um, sleeves. And as you know, I love black and I love lace. So I feel like this was a perfect combination. Especially, again, because we're getting the, the cooler and colder weather. I felt like this was super, super um, a must-have. So I felt like the front, I mean, it looks really plain, but that's one of the reasons why I, why I also bought the long necklaces because I feel that just adding that long necklace and the sweater, that can make a really, really cute outfit. So this is how it looks like, again, from the hands. And it has, like, a regular sweater end. <laughs> one last thing that I bought was my first, first, first pair of Ray-Bans and so let me show you them. So I love 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 the aviator trend but obviously for a lot of us plus size women the aviator um, shape doesn't really work with our face. So, so I tried out this ones that are more like a squarish um, shape and I really like them. I had so I was walking by by sunglass head at Macy's and I saw well I was initially attracted to a pair of Vogue um, sunglasses that, that recently came out and I really like them but one of the things that I hate is that when I drive with um, chunkier frames I can't really see from the side and so I wanted something that was comfortable for driving and so yeah so this is how they look like and I really just wanted some basic frame gray bands yeah those are it they're not like the most girliest sunglasses but again I, w I wanted something that was um that was practical and that I was going to use also because a lot of the chunkier glasses and the 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 ones with the with the larger frame um they tend to hit or sit on my cheek and then when I take them off I have makeup I have like this no makeup line um you know in in my face so then I have to fix my makeup and all of that so I wanted something that was a little bit more practical for them that I could actually utilize um when i drive so so as i was filming the mailman came as you heard my dog and i got another piece from ebay and this one and this one i had to show you because we have the day of the dead celebration coming up and halloween and all of that so um so i bought this call off of ebay i completely forgot that i had purchased it that's how long it took to get here yeah, so this is going to be my mask Anyways, so yeah, this is how it looks like. We're having a day of the dead celebration in my campus, so I feel like this is going to be extremely appropriate. So, so yeah. So yeah, I hope that you guys really enjoy the haul. And if you guys want to see, if you're a woman, want to see like a different type of videos, please let me know um, what you want to watch. Wow, okay. So I would really appreciate any suggestions. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye!